smell what the rock is cooking. Hey, what's going on, folks? Hidden Gem back again for another video. Happy Friday to everybody out there. Uh, wanted to get this video in real quick before I take. I have to take off. Wanted to get this video in real quick because tonight is the deadline. Today is the deadline, and tonight, midnight tonight is when the contest ends for a video response for uh, Park Side Li eighty eight. Fairly new to his channel. Uh, guy's great. Great channel. I'm um, enjoying it. I binged watched some of his videos the other day while I was at work. I came across your channel, Rob, uh, from Bob Lewis. I saw his video response, and and I saw also Bink Scott's response. So I wanted to check out your channel. I hadn't heard of, of your channel. Uh, looks like you've been doing this for about seven months already. And I've uh, been able to watch uh, some of your videos to get an idea and a feel for, for your uh, channel. And for who you are. And let me tell you, man, two thumbs up. You're you're a very funny guy, very high energy, and, and that's awesome. Cause that's uh high energy is the way to be these days. Um, you know, some people are high energy, some people are low, some people are calm and chill. Uh but I, I like that. I like high energy. Um I'm an active guy, I'm nonstop. I average maybe uh five five to six hours or most of sleep a day. That's my average, so um, I'm always active doing something and, and I enjoy uh, watching the videos. The other day I was at work binge watching some of your videos and man, let me tell you, I, I was laughing. And some the, my favorite video so far that has made me laugh and brought almost tears uh, from the laughter to my eyes was that Uncle Bobby's baseball card bonanza, that video that you did with Brooklyn. Uh, that's pretty cool that your dog's name is Brooklyn. Uh, I guess that's where you're originally from. Um, and I'm taking it. The LI is for Long Island and the 88 is for, I guess, the year you were born. And they, if that's the year you were born, I was in eighth grade at the time. So I was, uh, yeah, I came out earlier, earlier than you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, really enjoy your channel and I wanted to do the video response. I wanted to get it in before I have to take off, uh, to work, uh, tonight and make sure it's uploaded also as well. So... Cheers to you. I'm finally en enjoying uh, a nice cold Miller High Life beer uh, today before I have to go to work. Yes, I have to get a, at least one in. Uh, and it's Friday too, so shout out to um, Cubs fan 7523 there because I know he does uh, beer and cards on Fridays. That's uh, when he does his videos. And at the same time, uh, doing this video response, I didn't get a chance to uh, to uh, thank some people for the little gifts I've gotten over the uh, time, the span of the three months that I've been doing videos. So, I, you know, I just wanted real quick, I got this uh, pennant, Miami Dolphins pennant flag from uh, Corner Kick Lucas. And I got this uh, UFC card, my only UFC card in my PC and from my favorite uh, M MMA fighter. GSP from Chris G613. I got this Beckett from Bink Scott. Ken Griffey Jr. Beckett, which I love. Uh, this is my personal item. Uh, this is my favorite football player. This is what got me started in collecting cards. Mr. Mark Clayton. That was my number in high school too as well. And, uh, and I saw in one of your videos that Pepino Man sent you Italia. So, he sent me one from Cuba, because that's where my roots are from. Uh, my parents are Cuban, They're born here, born and raised in the United States, but my parents are Cuban. My dad and mom came from Cuba back in the, uh, in the 60s, <clears throat> in the late 60s. So, <clears throat> I want to do this video response in your honor, sir. What uh, you have said that you wanted us to tell you what we like about your videos and what we do not like about your videos. Well, real simple. What I do not like about your videos is zero. Because if I do not like something in a video or do not like you doing your videos or do not like your channel, I simply don't watch it. And I simply don't support it. So, there is nothing there that I found that I dislike. And uh, and uh, what I found is everything that I do like. And that's why I enjoy your channel, Rob. You got great content. You got great ideas. Um, 
fast thinker. I love your man cave, by the way. I, w, I found out the other day watching one of your videos that you're a WWE fan. Uh, me and my wife are huge WWE fans. We actually went to uh, to WrestleMania when they were down here in Miami. John Cena versus The Rock. It doesn't matter. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? It might not be a perfect impersonation, but I had to try. <laughs> Anyways, uh, doing that response, I, what I, I enjoy everything about your channel. You're genuine. You're you. And that's that means a lot to me in my eyes when I'm watching somebody's channel. That you're just being yourself and you're not trying to be somebody you're not. So, uh, props to you. Uh, my wife uh, just recently watched one of your videos. I showed her the the uh, Uncle Bobby's baseball card bonanza. She laughed. She's a huge New York Yankees fan. So, uh, she's going to be probably subscribing to your channel and uh, watching your videos as well. So, you got two supporters here in the household. And right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of why we're doing this video response. You wanted us to uh, show you what cards we would get with a $500 budget. So we're going to start off. I don't have any of these cards in my collection. Okay, so we're going to start off. Uh, let me put uh, the little stands here and move this a little bit down so you guys uh, get a better visual there. Oh, and in your honor, sir, I'm wearing Italia. That's my soccer team when I was a kid growing up. Watch them win the World Cup. My favorite player was Christian Vieri. That was my favorite player there. Okay, so that's a little quick shout-out to uh, the Italy soccer team there. Um, these are cards that I don't have in my collection. And if I had a $500 budget, I think I went a little bit over. If you do the math, I just went a little bit over. But these will be five cards that I would love to have. Of course, graded. Um, everybody, you know, likes their the cards graded these days. Uh, when I, I got back into the hobby in May, I didn't even know what PSA grading was because uh, all my cards are in raw form. So I'm getting into the hab, uh, you know, not into a habit. I'm learning the 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 industry now. So you know, and I know that everybody wants a nine or a Gemmin ten graded card. I mean, because that's obviously a nine or a ten is a perfect condition card. And everybody strives for that. And uh, for me, it really doesn't matter the grading. Matters more of the value for me as the card of the card that I love. And, uh, you know, if it's affordable in a Gem Mint 10, of course, you got to shoot for it. But if it's not affordable uh, and I can't afford a Gem Mint 10, I'm going to try to hit something that I could afford that's good looking, sharp looking. You know, so the centering looks good. Color looks good. Corners look good. So that's that's more my concern. So here we're going to start off with this 1989 Ken Griffey Jr. The Rookies in a Gem Mint 10. And this one retails for $39.95. So I'll probably be pulling the trigger pretty soon on this one so I can have this one in the PC. Okay, so that's $39.95. That's the price I found that on, on, um, on eBay. So we'll put Ken Griffey over here. All right there, Ken Griffey Jr. There we go. Then my second card has to be, I've always wanted to have this card. Uh, when I was a kid, I saw kids with it, some kids in, in uh, school with it. And I always wanted to, but I never got to it. So now it's even more expensive. But uh, 1987 Fleer Second year card, I think, of Michael Jordan for, with Fleer. Just a spectacular card. I love this card. And uh, and this is a 7. And the value on this one on eBay is $99.99. So we're at $140 right there. Then my next card. I really love this card. Oh, there goes that. All right, sorry about that. I had to... Uh, Stop the video for a second because I dropped the I dropped this tripod camera thing. I'm still a rookie at this, so bear with me. All right, then we're gonna put this one over here. Yeah, I know you like I know you see my white gloves, Rob. I know I'm gonna get probably uh some heat for it from you. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to your comments about my white glove, <laughs> my my baseball gloves that I wear in my videos. This is my uh, next card. That I've always wanted to have. Ricky Henderson, Donruss, 81. This is in a Gem Mint 10. And it's affordable. $99.99 for this one. 
perfect. Then, a card uh, I just want to have because I love, really love this card. This was my dad's favorite player. Uh, my dad has passed, and I will be doing a showcase in his honor. But this was my dad's favorite player, and I always remember him showing me his Johnny Bench cards. And this is one card that I need to have just, just for a, a little memory of my dad. And at the same time, I collect Rookie Cup cards. So I know his, his actual rookie is with other players in one card. I think three or four players in the card. But overall, this, this is a great-looking card. I mean, look how young he's there. Catcher's mid, rookie cup, 1969 tops, Johnny, Johnny Bench, all-star rookie cup in uh, seven. And the uh, cheapest I've seen is 175 175 on this card. So I really love this card. It's one of my... Uh, cards I gotta I gotta have so hopefully one day I'll be able to own one and have a little memory there that brings back memories with my dad uh, showing me his Johnny Bench cards and my dad played catcher too as well all throughout high school he was a catcher so then but he played more football he was a three-sport athlete uh, but football was his thing so he got his he got a scholarship for some division I think division two or division three school in Tennessee to play football so that's what he continued with and then here we go the last but not least everybody has to have a Mickey Mantle card one day in their collection and this is a card I always dreamed of getting always wanted to have this card it's in a, a three graded a three last name in yellow because I think there's another variation where both names are in white but this is a 69 tops. This is one of my favorite cards of his. There's a lot of mantle cards. I'm only 68, 69. I'm I'm a guy that loves baseball cards with uh, this kind of position where the ba the batter is about to bat. Uh, you see that pose right there. So this is one. This this got to be my favorite Mickey mantle card. This one and the 68 tops are my two favorites. And uh, this one uh, was at 129 dollars. So there you go. This is these are the cards that I would do with a five hundred dollar budget. I would have in my uh, PC, which I do not have at the moment. So most likely I'll pull the trigger maybe on that Ken Griffey rookie, so it's just pretty affordable right now. But uh, yeah, and I gotta work around the honey do list to uh, earn some credit there for uh, for to start getting these cards in. But this is my video response. I wish you nothing more than success uh, that you already have and you're already getting. Uh, hope that you're blessed with some more success there. It'd be cool to uh, to see Brooklyn uh, one day bark <laughs> while you're showing your cards. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, I myself am a dog lover, so I have an American Bulldog, pure American Bulldog. Her name is Minnie, and maybe one day I'll put her on camera so you guys can see her. Uh, but I'm also a dog lover, and she's uh, me and her are very close, just like you and Brooklyn are. So, sir, I enjoy your videos. And uh, this is my video response. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, everybody have a good weekend. Hidden Gem, over and out.